Blessed day guys and peace be upon you this morning. So in this video, we're going to learn how to configure multi-area OSPF. So if you can clearly check on this diagram here, you can see that we have how many areas? Area 0, Area 1 and Area 2. We have how many routers? Four routers. And uh, if you can check here, router 0 occupies all the areas. Area 0, 2 and 1. Okay? Alright, so I'll open our Google spreadsheet. I'll let you know that today we are in number, uh, number 10, uh, OSPF part 2. Okay? Alright. So without any further ado, I'll open our uh, notepad to highlight the steps that we're going to follow to achieve this objective so step one is always to draw the necessary topology we decorate and comment so you can see here guys i drew this topology using how many routers four routers and three switches plus computers all right and you can see i have labeled here that this area zero with this network this is area two with this network and finally area one with this network and these respective lands of this network, this one has this one, and finally this one has this one. Okay, all right. So just make sure that you use 29 11 routers, okay, plus 26 29 60 access switches. Okay, all right. So when you go to step two, uh, configure IP addresses to the routers and host devices. So guys, what I'm going to do is that you see uh, this network is used between this interface and this interface. So I want to assume that this interface will take 10.10.10.9 10, 10, 10 slash 13. Then this one will take 10.10.10.9. 10, 10, 10, I mean 10.10.10.10 10, 10, 10, 10 slash 30. Okay. All right. Same applies to this interface and this interface. This one and this one. Such that this one take 10.5. This one take 10.6. This one will take 10.1. And this one will take 10.2. Okay, shall I start? So without any further ado, let's start with the middle router. Okay. So we start with this interface, which is um gig00. So gig00 should take 10, 10, 10, 9. I do it very, very fast, save time. Okay, guys, so I've done um, IP addressing on the router's interfaces. So you can see that I've configured these interfaces that are connected to the LANs, okay? So this one is uh, gig01 takes 2.1. Here, gig01 takes uh, 3.1. And finally, uh, gig01 zero, gig zero here takes 1.1. .1. And remember, those gig01 will have us the default gateways of their respective LANs, okay? Or so what I'll do is to configure IP addresses to the host devices. So let me start on this side and make all of them to be under this network. Okay. All right. Okay. So I've done IP addressing the host devices. So the next thing that I'll do, I'll go back to our notepad. To see configure ospf in all the routers to advertise the directly connected networks guys this is the uh, this is the main point of today's class so we want we want to configure ospf and which type of ospf do you want to configure multi-area ospf so we are used to configuring single area so today we're going to do multi-area ospf so how do we start I want to start with these routers. Let's say, um, not, I will finish with the center route. Okay, because it's the one that is connected to how many areas? Three areas. Okay, all right. So let's, let me start with this router here. Okay, all right. So I just click on this one, come to Z line and uh, say exit. Then, how do you start configuring OSPF? Very simple. Just say router OSPF. Then with the process of ID, ID of any number that you like. So let me just use uh, 715. Okay. 
then we give the router id for easy identification so we just say router id to be let's say 1.1.1.1 and you hit enter then we advertise the network so let's say network uh we first advertise this network 102.168.1.0 then subnet mask go to oh wildcard mask now 0 0.0.0 Two five five. Okay, just a minute. <coughs> then area, area one, area zero. Sorry, this is area zero. Okay, and you hit enter. Another network will be um. Another network will be uh. Ten dot ten dot eight. 10.10.10.8 with the wildcard mask of this one okay you can write the full subject mask if you like because the router will convert it to wildcard mask but it's recommended for your practice purpose to write the wildcard mask okay and it is zero and we exit and do right so we go to this router and configure it to be in area one so I just go here come to CLI and uh, exit and uh, router ospf 15 okay then route id let's say 2.2.2.2 .2 and we hit enter then the network uh, the network will be um 168 192.168.3.0 192.168.3.0 i will get mask of 0.0.0.255 area one i believe so yes area one and it end then another network will be area one then uh area three uh, it is uh ten dot ten dot uh, i just write it ten dot ten dot ten dot um dot four okay dot uh dot four and you eat it and exit and do right Finally, go to this router and configure it to be area 2. So we go here, exit, router OSPF 15, a router ID to be 3.3.3.3. .3 then the networks are like uh, networks are like 102.168.2.0. Okay, then 0 .0 0.0.0.255 area. Two and you hit enter, okay. And uh, two. Then finally, uh, we configure ten. We can we advertise the network of ten dot ten, ten dot ten. So welcome mask to be dot three here. Then we change this one to ten dot ten dot ten dot zero. Ten dot ten dot ten dot zero. And we enter exit and do right. Okay. So guys, we've configured uh, these three routers to be in their respective OSPF areas area 0 here area 1 here and area 2 here so it's the time that we make this middle router to have how many areas three areas 0 1 and 2 so we just click on the middle router come to CLI exit and then uh, we just say router OSPF uh, 15 then router ID not ready to be 4.4.4.4 and you hit enter okay then you advertise networks so let's start with this network which is in area 0 just say 10 oh sorry just say network network 10.10.10.8 a worker mask of uh, 0 .0 0.0.0.3 okay area zero and you hit enter then we go to area one to advertise this network of 10 10 4 so when you go there you can see it has formed adjacency with the other router which was 1.1.1 it was this route okay so let's let's make it con uh, form neighbor with the router 2 which was 2.2.2 .2 so let's advertise uh, this network which is dot four four and four is in which area area one okay very simple 
don't forget this was in area 0 you can see this one is in area 0 and now this one should be area 1 okay all right so finally let's advertise this network in area 1 1010.0 10 to be area 2 i mean sorry area 2 all right you can see it has also formed adjacency with the 2.2.2 .2, which was this router here okay all right so finally let's make it from the neighbor with the above router so it's dot zero dot zero here then it's area two area two hit enter exit and do right so we'll wait it to form neighbor and we show the neighbors on the on the spf database okay before we can start pinging okay all right so let's just wait it uh, just uh to okay it has formed adjacency uh, with the above route, okay. So if I can just say show IP uh, OSPF uh, question mark uh, neighbor. So you can see these are all the neighbors of the SPF 1.1. .1, you can remember 2.2, you can remember 3.3.3, they can remember, okay. All right, so if I can just say again, so IP OSPF uh, question mark database. So you can see, you can see all of these, okay? Very, very important, very, very important. You can see this is area zero, link for area zero with the, with the below parameters, okay? Link for area one, it contains this, it contains this, all these networks. And finally, router link states for area two, okay? All right, so basically I'll try to ping from this, um, PC which is 1.1 .1, 1 and 2 168 1.10 to uh, any of these pieces 2.10 uh, 3.20 things like that okay all right so I'm going to ping uh, command prompt and I say ping 1.2.168.2.10 so let's just give it some time it will ping because OSPF has been configured successfully okay all right, so that's all about uh, material or material OSPF configuration. Okay, it's pretty much simple to configure multi area OSPF configuration. So when we meet next, we are going to finish this class with BGP routing configuration. So thank you so much, guys. Please subscribe to my this channel, like this video, share with friends, and let's see you again in the next class.